Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Victoria 3 1905 as Brazil. Not a lot left, not a lot of years left. Just um, a few more steps and uh, it will all be over. Uh, I actually got a private message to me asking why I still continue this campaign from the low view numbers and a few comments, if any actually. Um... I've kind of decided that I want to finish everything I started. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a few more episodes of this before we begin something new. Uh, hope you'll stay with me and just enjoy this um, a bit more chill commentating style. Um, I'll try to maybe do a few more longer episodes. We get this over with and begin something new. Since I do still value your input quite a bit. But uh, I don't want to... I want to get back in that habit again. I... Thought after a while we are ne where I basically never finished anything. I did a few episodes and I didn't finish it. Or, yeah, I don't want to get there again. If you actually gonna start watching something and it's quite a lot of time you dedicate to it, like half an hour every few days for several weeks, I don't want you to suddenly oh I spent ten hours on this and I didn't get to see how it finished. So I really do want to try to just finish off everything I do. So. With that said, let's finish this. <laughs> so we're going to begin with building three governmental centers right there in Minas. We are missing a bit much bureaucracy and yeah, that's actually 4.7% tax waste. It's not something I want to see. Uh, let's see, how much tax is that actually that we're losing? Uh, unrealized taxes, it's right here in the top. As always, 17,000. Yeah, that's not good at all. Uh, that would actually almost put us at plus minus zero. That would be fantastic. We are... We just massively, massively built up how much construction we can build at the same time. And uh, it costs a lot, but we seem to be able to stabilize it before our gold... Well, I, I say we seem to be able to stabilize it, but we had to raise our taxes to medium. So maybe not fully stabilized, but going quite well at least. Uh, that migration boom from the old world doesn't really seem to have happened as much as I thought it would. But at the same time, this is not a lot of time, just a few years. So, well, if maybe not even a few years, maybe just a year or two. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. So, we built up a few power plants right here. And I think, let's see. You are not going to use anything unless I actually say, hey, for example, electric sawmills. But I don't think that was the thing we were going to upgrade. I think we were going to do... No... God damn it, why can't I remember exactly what we're gonna do? Might actually just been pumping that one up one step. I believe it might have been explosive factory as well. Which seems to be very, very much <laughs> very true. Uh, let's see, so you are suddenly gonna get a massive need. And it's gonna be very cheap for you to hire people because it's gonna be so worth it. And you're going to get one more build in two weeks. That's going to be fine. We're apparently subsidizing you. Um, hopefully that's not killing us. Power plants. No, that's completely fine. So you're going to hire a ton of people here working for that. You are going to just squeeze out so many more explosives for me. Hopefully soon. Oh yeah, because ugh, electricity is so expensive. How do you even get that much? You shouldn't even be able to get this much. There we go, now you start producing a bit more electricity, so it becomes a bit cheaper. Uh, but it seems like we're gonna need one more right there, so let's fix that. And didn't we build electricity somewhere else as well? Uh, right here. Now, uh, local prices, there. Where the hell did it? Yeah, I know we have it right here, but I'm trying to find the other place I built it in. Uh, there we go. Now I'm getting here, and uh, let's see, where could we have wanted to use it? Electric sewing machine, I guess that's where. And you're fully building, it's not actually necessary right now, so I'm gonna slightly bump you up. Uh, you require 10, so I would have to bump you up by 4 more, if you're actually gonna use the entire production right there. Uh, then let's actually do it, let's make that... Quite a bit of a clothing selling stop. Uh, should really be helpful. 
All right, otherwise, it seems like we're missing quite a bit of iron right now, so we should fix that. Uh, let's at least sort by peasants. So let's build 10 more in this state. And by the way, we probably have to fix infrastructure. No, we do not. All right, because we need a lot more tickets than we need actually that infrastructure from it. So um, that's fine and good. So that should really, really help with the iron need. It might even like fix it completely. Um, Walt's gonna check this rubber and most of the places. Yeah, we're gonna build two more there, one more there. We're gonna build four right here and we're gonna build five right there. Uh, expand application telephone was successfully done. 6k for radios. Yes, I would love, love, love that. Uh, we need a lot more paper apparently, so that's something we're gonna do. Paper isn't something we can fix with electricity, right? No, that's just paper bleaching stuff. All right, cool. And let's see. You have 200k. Yeah, you still... You just have so many working adults. It's crazy. Uh, especially those peasants. So let's get like 10 more factories built right here, which is almost... <laughs> yeah, it's it's a fair chunk of what we're all producing. That should fix that as well. Uh, then we have coal and then just massive amounts of minor things that we could sort out quite easily. So... Ooh, yeah, this is uh, slightly more more of an issue. Uh, let's get seven more mines built right there. But otherwise, we are going to have to expand. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, we cannot slow down production. Sorry, it's just simply not possible. Uh, all right, so. Granana. That is a beautiful place we would love to take from you. It got iron. It got coal mines. Logging camps. Yeah, we don't actually care too much about it we're fine but it also got a nice spread of a bit of everything that we need so i would love to just um wait what do you like me or something hostile oh wait do we have a choice with them still very much might be that we still have a choice with them and diplomacy and yeah we still have a choice with them for 13 more weeks though so yeah very soon just <laughs> shucking herself in right there once again uh let's see Oh, we have 15 more under recruitment. Oh, since we built them in the same area, it takes a long time for you to actually properly train up. Here. Yeah, that's the case. Interesting. So is it more beneficial to just build these a bit everywhere? Probably is. So we can get that. Okay. I'm going to get this down to five. Just get five more there. But we still need a bunch more. So I'm going to build, let's see. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, I'm going to change that again. Uh, wait, wait, I can't actually cancel it from here. Oh, that's a bit annoying, actually. Okay. Um, now we're back at 15. There we go. And I think I'm fine with that. We can get a few more artillery pieces. Uh, let's get two there, two there, two there, two there. There we go. So we're doing a quite sizable increase of our army. And hopefully it's going to go a bit more quicker this time. So... All of these areas are going to train some troops each. I think we had more than enough armor production last time. When everything was, like, working fully. Wait, wait, what? Spain? Oh, 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 you're just in... That's why Spain... Ah, alliance with Spain. Maybe they were allied before and we still just attacked them and said, Oh, damn it! Spain joined them! <laughs> oh, shit. Um... All right, I guess you are allied right here as well. Yeah. Uh, no, you actually don't have a defensive pack. But Spain was that a lot of wars that you were involved in? It is. It is. Well, that's just a civil war. That's not gonna happen. Anything about? Austria-Hungary, two Sicilies, French Congo, French Gaul. Okay, maybe it could be then useful. Yeah, we could probably 
probably go for it. And even if they get here in time, we will still crush them. And isn't this kind of untrue as well? Wouldn't it say... Yeah, I think... Yeah, they have an alliance with Spain. But I remember, I only checked this and was like, Oh, cool, they have no allies and all of these are undecided. I'm not completely wrong. Which... No. That is the Spanish flag. That's put on undecided. I shouldn't think... It should definitely be on enemy side. Or at least our side, enemy side... Enemy allies, friendly friend allies, yeah, this is just bullshit. They definitely have an alliance, and yeah, alright, so I need to double check this. So our current army is rated 4,500. The Spanish, arm, Spanish army is rated uh, at 6k. They are almost, not almost, well actually, including the reserves, yeah, they are quite a bit larger than us. So we definitely have a quality superiority above them. And yeah, right, right, right. Uh, so Santa Cruz, I think I was going to move you. And then, of course, I need to prioritize these, which I thought I had done, but, um, well, very clearly I had not. So if you could just get this up and rolling, and then we might actually still invade while this is going on. I haven't fully decided yet. I kind of want to see how this is all going. Yeah. We have a massive war right here against... Uh, yeah, but yeah, that's 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 going to be cleared up in two, 10 seconds. Okay, we are going to have to fight against Spain if we actually decide to go in right there. Alright, so no... Well, a slight issues there, but nothing too much to worry about. Alright, so let's lower the taxes once again. Let's get that legitimacy up to 100. And we're looking once again pretty good. So... Violent suppression right there causes some authority issues. Uh, let's see, we also did a tech. Uh, we also did, yes, we did a tech to actually be able to upgrade this to steel frame building. But as you can see, what we, what we currently use this versus what would be required, it would be a complete catastrophic... Exp yeah, yeah, our, our economy wouldn't be able to handle that in any way, shape or form. Double the amount of tools, suddenly 40 glass, 50 steel coming from 50 iron, and 10 explosives. Yeah, our economy would... I, I wouldn't say collapse, but it wouldn't wouldn't be pretty. Wouldn't be pretty at all. And we just seem to require more and more rubber. So I think I'm gonna actually prioritize... Not cancel, I'm gonna prioritize that a bit more. Just pushing down that iron need. Which still... Reasonably large, but not as terrible as it can be. Uh, there we go. Election came in. I guess we still have a pretty supportive people. Uh, so, oh, yeah. The trade unions are gaining more and more power. They even took leadership right now. I'm fine with it, but... Um, yeah. It, it's it's all fine and good. So, guaranteed liberties. How about... All right. That's the one thing that blocks... Or? Guaranteed liberties. Uh, yeah, that should be the one that actually blocks you from uh, suppressing them. Uh, public health insurance, would love to do that. We can't do that just yet. Professional army, mass conscription. Yeah, I still think professional army is the best thing. Uh, per capita, that's still the most liked one. No workers' right. Maybe two workers' right. No. Uh, nobody want laws for pension either. Still the best law right there. Yeah, I think in general people are quite happy with everything. So let's, let's not make any changes right there. And there, suddenly 96 divisions. That went extremely quick. Quickly. I guess it's because I'm going from so many different places and training them. Nice. Yeah, this is going to cost so much when I mobilize them. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Especially since I have all the modifiers with giving them better rations. I give them extra rations, luxurious rations. 
I gave them liquor, chocolate, uh, I gave them rail transport. <laughs> I gave them everything they could possibly need. Well, except maybe extra weapons. But we are folk we are working on that as well. Like for this example. We're getting better production, so we'll be able to give them more weapons. We have the defense in def defense in depth. We have the machine guns coming in. It's gonna take a little while, but uh, until then, I still think we should move in right here and make sure that we crush them. So, how is our army looking right now? 5.4k with 112, and there's at uh, 5.4k with many more. Very nice, very nice. Okay, cool. That means we can demolish these guys. Well, you shouldn't even be counted, right? Well, actually, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Well done. Well done, you Granana. But it's not going to be enough. So we're going to move in right here. Give me that state. Uh, let's see. They're leaning to their side. We can actually sway Venezuela to our side. All right. But I'm a bit worried that the US in is on their side as well. Or leaning to them, at least. I want to see what happens as soon as diplomatic phase happens. Okay, Spain sided with them. No surprise right there. Let's mobilize our army. Put them at the front line. Maybe we do need a bit more trench infantry, actually. So, yeah, there's the cost. Oh my lord. Well, they are scaling up their factories, but maybe we need to keep them actually active constantly. Otherwise, we are gonna die every single time we declare war. <laughs> Let's see, 73,000 right there. Yeah, it's crazy. It's getting down. It... But, um... Yeah, we are really, really paying a lot for small arms, artillery, and ammunition. Let me see. Yeah, you are working full on. These guys are now scaling up as well, but it's costing us lots of money. And I once again screwed up by not demanding war, uh, war operation or anything from Spain. Oh, god damn it. I was too focused on my own stuff. Again, actually. Uh, yes. Let's do that. More assimilation. Yes, please. But yeah, this shouldn't be much of an issue. And uh, let's see. So we are missing guns still. Yes. I go in here and let's see. I think we are producing oil. Just that... Uh, let's see, luck is, no, 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 that should be an uh, industrial good. Uh, oil right here, local prices, yeah, we have quite a few of these. They're just not working because oil is worth nothing. Alright, cool, then we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna find our weapons, and we're gonna do bolt action rifles for everything. Get me those rifles, now. Uh, 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 uh. Let's make sure that it's fine. And I'm pretty sure you are going to start working now. Suddenly it's necessary. And um, we are apparently building one. Oh, the capitalists, of course. Let's help them out with one as well. Uh, how's this war going? In general, it looks like we are crushing them. I did see a quick one where it said like one single troop of mine attacked, which was a bit worrying, but... Um, in general, it looks like we have more troops than they do, and we're just walking in, demolishing them. We have lost uh, quite a few troops, but they're losing many more than us. Very good. Most of the battles are just overwhelmingly going to our side. We're very quickly destroying them. No issues at all. Higher defense, higher offense. Oh, this is a really good one. 72? That's absolutely ridiculous. What's the highest in the world? 74. Yeah, we so, yeah, moving in from all different sides, cutting them off. I guess Spain can't even reinforce them anymore. As we demolish them. Very cool. Well, cut cut them off completely from there. Oh, we don't have anyone assigned right here. 
god damn it. Uh, then I can't like split this. Let's, let's just have these guys finish off this entire area. Then have the reconquered area. Yeah. I think that's going to be the best. And I think they didn't even decide to attack from there. They decided to transfer the troops right there. Try to cover this. Which is probably not what I would have done. I would have continued pushing from there. Right, cool. Uh, let's just give me that. And we are all fine and good. Oh, there's there's a Spanish army. 121. Uh, well, too bad for you, Spain. We just finished them off. And you're now transferring to the other front line. Yeah. Yes, please tell me that's going to push them back all the way home. Well, it's going to push... Yeah, there we go. We own all of Grandana right now. Robber Rush. Yeah, that's fine. This is going to force them to the table extremely quickly. It's going to send the Spanish homes. Oh my god, that was beautiful. So, by forcing ourselves almost go bankrupt by the sheer amount of um, well army uh we definitely need to build a few more few more of these uh let's just build two more right there don't care um yeah we just forced a win so quickly that it didn't matter that spain was on the way oh my god that was 400 oh we seem to be fine okay cool uh, then we're gonna do reset. There we go. Oh, didn't I ever do this? No, maybe not. Cool. Now that's fixed in both of these areas. And we're gonna do... Oh, wait. We can't do this. Well, I'm gonna still do that. Remove that extra hit right there we have from opposing parties. Uh, yeah. Cool. Scandinavia is declaring a survival. Really? Scandinavia? Uh, that was 4 million GDP we just straight out stole from them. How many people did we also grab? Uh, 2.3 million. Very nice. That's a nice spike right there. Getting us up above 20 million people. Very cool. Uh, Sign the treaty here. The northern Amazon border are vague and open. Yeah, sure, let's sign that. Uh, currently 0 to 8. All while producing Amazonian state mods have their state trait upgrade to exploited. Oh, we kind of might have promised them something. And it's now paying money for something we're not going to succeed. Because we double, didn't double check what it actually meant. Uh, we basically need to build up the Amazon, the areas in the Amazon forest. Ah, all right. Um, well, how many people are living here? 130k. Okay, let's do the classic stuff. Let's do the classic stuff. Uh, we have universities there. We don't have any government administration. Let's get one right there. Let's get another railway. Uh, let's get a few of these logging camps. Let's get an oil rig. And I think that's more or less what I need to do. Oh, wait. I completely double checked. <laughs> I forgot to double check how many people are actually peasants. Yeah. That's going to be a bit too much of a heavy pressure on you. 4k, yeah, exactly. So, let's get that down to 2. 1 there. That's going to be more than fine. Uh, let's not build another one right there. Uh, Devil's Rain rolled. Yes. Medium roast. Earn it. Uh, burn surplus coffee. No, we could use coffee as fuel source. <clears throat> what? In invisible hand of the market. Heavy industry. For how long? Two years. Or they're just a bit pissed off. I'm just going to accept the. They're just going to be a bit pissed off. They're still liking us. So. Yeah. They're just going to be a bit pissed. That's the perfect solution. Cool. Uh, let's see. Rubber. Rubber, coal, sulfur. Seems like the holy trinity of things you don't actually want to miss. Okay, so we've cut off New Gandana almost completely. We need to eat up their lost territory right there. And then they're just, um, well, food for me. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let them celebrate or let them party like there's no tomorrow. They're extremely wealthy right now, so we're going to party like there's no tomorrow for them. Oh no, they're going to get free minimum expected. Yeah, we have... 20 more than they need. So they're going to be completely fine. 
Uh, anything else? Production in full swing. Gonna take a while to fix all of this. Good. We're good. So, I think I kind of want to do the same thing with Argentina if we can. Just... Well, actually, we would have to... Chile, we can't do it for because, well, they're more like... Well, technically we can with one state, but otherwise they're only coastline. Argentina... Well, there are also a lot of coastline. That would be four... Five... No, four different states we have to take. And then there would be... No, five different states. Before they're completely cut off. So it's like three states we can do it here with. Venezuela, that's two states in total, so nothing we can do right there. I basically just want to make sure that South Africa is... South America is mine. When I invade and take stuff, yeah. Oh, you want me to do this again? Minus 100 authority. Oh, we have 200 now? Oh, it's a temporary thing? Oh, yeah. Sure, let's welcome to Brazil. Achievement unlocked. Huddle. Poor masses. A culture migration target in one of your states. Why didn't I get that achievement last time I did this? Hmm. Weird. Anyway, let's see. God, it's the game is really not going quickly right now. Well, we are pausing a lot as well, so yeah. Uh, why it's saying low organization? Oh, because we don't have an admiral. I'm kind of fine with that, actually. Uh, let's see. So you are going to be transferred over this fleet Peterboats and ironclads yeah exactly that's what we want I want you to upgrade as well I want you to upgrade you and I want you to upgrade very nice so yeah it's gonna complain a bit about it but um, we shouldn't be producing anything else but ironclads right now so we might finally get rid of that one Hell on Earth, yeah, we can't slow down. Keep on pushing. Everything is incorporated. Okay, this one, 75%. Oh, still five years? Why are you going so slowly? It's 20 years because they have nothing in common with us. What these have in common with us? Alright. Uh, let's see, anything else we can do? A few more bureaucracy buildings? Yeah, probably. Uh, let's see. Amazonia Rainforest. Yeah, you just have this kind of same issue right now. Uh, I'm going to build like three of these government administrations right there. It's only going to take 20 weeks. And it is going to help us with the entire developed Amazon thing. That should be enough for the peasants right there. Uh, you also have the Amazon Rainforest modifier. You have the Amazon Rainforest modifier. Let's see, you only have 1k peasants, so let's build one government administration. Uh, very nice. Unlock siege artillery. Fantastic. Let me guess, that's going to be ridiculously expensive. Yep. Yep. Very expensive. Oh, Lord. And you need radios now. Uh, I don't think I can actually provide you with that. I don't have. I think I have it unlocked right now. We only picked a tech that's going to give us 6k for it. Uh, let's see. Telephone, radio. Yeah, exactly. If we could set that up after, that would be beautiful. We need radio communications. Probably do our siege artillery. Okay, anything else? How's the world looking? We haven't actually taken a very long... Scandinavia. Yeah, Scandinavia looking mighty fine. North German Federation, Austria-Hungary, Great Britain, everything is looking fine-ish, I guess. Roman Romania. I don't remember if they're usually there. Uh, Secret Empire, Rich Rush, yeah, rest of the world looks normal-ish, except we don't have a Germany. And we have a Scandinavia <laughs> in uh, what? In Elbe. That's um, interesting. Uh, Bavaria is pretty big right there. So, um, pretty cool stuff. Good. We lower taxes again. 
probably something we can do. Uh, let's see. Anything else screams? Really, we're still screaming that heavily for coal. I honestly thought we would be kind of fine. Yeah, import trade route. We are still importing. Seven, eight hundred coal. Uh, is there anything we have ridiculous amounts of, though? I haven't actually taken a look at that for quite a while. Gold, uh, fabric, coffee, tobacco. Uh, so let's double check coffee again, productivity, American market, sure. Uh, let's check fabric. No, nothing will be happy right there. And tobacco. The homie. <laughs> the homie, you're gonna get your tobacco. Don't worry about it. Alright, so coal is much more of a need than I actually remembered. We can't be this reliant on Great Britain, especially every time we go to war, all those trades are in massive amounts of trouble. Because we can't sustain that. Actually, I would like to check this. How much are I actually missing here? Crazy, crazy, crazy amount. You're producing a fair bit of this. If I'm changing you, will you actually start producing more... Tickets for this. No. It has access to electricity, so we can get this fixed if we just... Okay, so was that the reason I wanted to... Maybe. Maybe that was the reason I wanted to build electricity all over the entire nation before. So we could switch to that, even though we we're going to pay very heavy price for more. Okay, I'm going to do like this. Uh, we have 10 here. You're going to get two of these. That is solely because we're going to switch to this. It's also going to, well, greatly help the massive amounts of infrastructure we already have. But still, I want those tickets. Um, anything else? You are desperately crying for tickets, right? Uh, let's take something that you're producing. Lead, for example. No, you're actually not that desperate for tickets. Of course you're not. Um, maybe I should just do it anyway. Do the thing I avoided doing last time. Everywhere where we can build and have enough people to, well, put something together for electricity, uh, we're going to do. Uh, so we can start producing tickets everywhere. It's going to help us a tiny bit. So, let's just do it. So, that's also machine guns, which means support equipment. Machine guns activate. 5 offense, 10 defense. Every tiny little thing helps quite a bit. Oh, right. I completely forgot the entire point of this thing. But we're going to build more coal. <laughs> Alright, let's then go into coal. Check this. And you were crying. Right. You were crying for tickets. Currently, you don't say you have a... Well, you have 5% penalty in this. I would like not to have 5% penalty. Alright? You have enough infrastructure, so it's really just... You need more tickets, okay? So, I'm gonna do... Plus... 2 there. Now, I'm gonna build plus 3 right here. At like... 5... 8 plus there. And then I'm going to say, oh, that's all we can actually do. Plus three right there. Okay, never mind then. I'm going to do four plus there. We're going to do two plus right there. And I'm going to find coal. We're going to go right here. And we're going to see Ecuador. No. Oh, there. You're going to get plus 12. Uh, you don't, yeah, you have a tiny bit of a railway network. Let's get built at what? Six or something. Yeah, that might actually even be necessary. 
Let's get a few of those up very quickly. And I think in the general other places we're gonna get like one there, five more right there, a few more right there. Coal. Or coal, not coal, but coal. And yeah, wow, GDP is just absolutely skyrocketing this episode. With those few changes we made by just let's really increase our building capacity, which we probably should have done quite a while ago. Things are really improving very quickly as well. And those migration waves and conquering that state help the population. We're still a fair bit into loyalist. Things are looking quite beautiful. 1910, only five years have passed. 35 minutes and I'm realizing it's time to start making some dinner. Have a good one, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Bear with me. A few more episodes and then we're going to be done with it. And we can continue something else. And I think it's going to be something Hoy related. Hope you have a good one and I'll see you guys next time. Bye and bye.